Donald Ainsley Henderson September 7, 1928, to August 19, 2016, was an American medical doctor, educator, and epidemiologist who directed a 10-year international effort 1967 -1977 that eradicated smallpox throughout the world and launched international childhood vaccination programs. From 1977 to 1990, he was dean of the Johns Hopkins School of Public Health. Later, he played a leading role in instigating national programs for public health preparedness and response following biological attacks and national disasters. At the time of his death, he was Professor and Dean Emeritus of the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health, and Professor of Medicine and Public Health at the University of Pittsburgh, as well as Distinguished Scholar at the UPMC Center for Health Security. <laughs> Early life and education Henderson was born in Lakewood, Ohio on September 7, 1928, of Scots Canadian immigrant parents. His father, David Henderson, was an engineer, his mother, Eleanor McMillan, was a nurse. His interest in medicine was inspired by a Canadian uncle, William McMillan, who was a general practitioner and senior member of the Canadian House of Commons. Henderson graduated from Oberlin College in 1950 and received his M.D. from the University of Rochester School of Medicine in 1954. He was a resident physician in medicine at the Mary Imogene Bassett Hospital in Cooperstown, New York, and, later, a public health service officer in the Epidemic Intelligence Service of the Communicable Disease Center now the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention — CDC. He earned an MPH degree in 1960 from the Johns Hopkins School of Hygiene and Public Health now the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. Topic: <laughs> Research and Career. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Eradication of Smallpox. Henderson served as chief of the CDC virus disease surveillance programs from 1960 to 1965, working closely with the inspirational epidemiologist Dr. Alexander Langmuir. During this period, he and his unit developed a proposal for a United States Agency for International Development USAID program to eliminate smallpox and control measles during a five-year period in 18 contiguous countries in Western and Central Africa. This project was funded by USAID, with field operations beginning in 1967. The USAID initiative provided an important impetus to a World Health Organization (WHO) program to eradicate smallpox throughout the world within a 10-year period. In 1966, Henderson moved to Geneva to become director of the campaign. At that time, smallpox was occurring widely throughout Brazil and in 30 countries in Africa and South Asia. More than 10 million cases and 2 million deaths were occurring annually. Vaccination brought some control, but the key strategy was surveillance containment. This technique entailed rapid reporting of cases from all health units and prompt vaccination of household members and close contacts of confirmed cases. WHO staff and advisors from some 73 countries worked closely with national staff. The last case occurred in Somalia on October 26, 1977, only 10 years after the program began. Three years later, the World Health Assembly recommended that smallpox vaccination could cease. Smallpox is the first human disease ever to be eradicated. This success gave impetus to WHO's global expanded program on immunization, which targeted other vaccine-preventable diseases, including poliomyelitis, measles, tetanus, diphtheria, and whooping cough. Now targeted for eradication are poliomyelitis and guinea worm disease. After 25 years, this objective is close to being achieved. Topic: <laughs> Later work. From 1977 through August 1990, Henderson was dean of the Johns Hopkins School of Public Health. In 1991, he was appointed Associate Director for Life Sciences, Office of Science and Technology Policy, Executive Office of the President 1991-93 and, later, Deputy Assistant Secretary and Senior Science Advisor in the Department of Health and Human Services HHS. 
In 1998, he became the founding director of the Johns Hopkins Center for Civilian Biodefense Strategies, now the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security. Following the September 11, 2001, attack on the World Trade Center, HHS Secretary Tommy G. Thompson asked Henderson to assume responsibility for the Office of Public Health Preparedness, later the Office of the Assistant Secretary for Preparedness and Response. For this purpose, $3 billion was appropriated by Congress. At the time of his death, he served as the editor emeritus of the academic journal Health Security, formerly Biosecurity and Bioterrorism, Biodefense Strategy, Practice, and Science. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Honors and Awards. 17 universities conferred honorary degrees on Henderson. Topic: <laughs> Selected publications Topic. Personal life Henderson married Nana Irene Bragg in 1951. The couple had a daughter and two sons. He died at Gilchrist Hospice, Towson, Maryland, at the age of 87, after fracturing his hip. References, <references>